Hello, hello everyone. I wanted to share with you some happy mail today that I ordered from myself and was just delivered from FedEx. This goes over the back of a door, um, six pocket holder, and I of course purchased this for yarn, get a little more organized. Ideally, I would love to have one entire room for all of my yarn, a nice wall or two with this cube cubby shelvings. My yarn is in a few different places because I didn't want to take up all that much space for just kind of one thing. So this is going, going to be on the back of the door in my small walk-in closet that I have. And I checked around different places, read reviews, looked at dimensions compared to something that I already have that's okay but really not all that great as far as functionality goes. And this seemed really good for the price point. I will list the link in, uh, into the description box. This comes in three colors that were available when I ordered them. This very pretty lime green, an orange, and a red one. And they all, I think, have the gray backgrounds. But it comes with these uh, six slats that go into the bottom of, of each pocket. And then these thick, you know, harder plastic pieces that I'm sure go onto the side here just to give it more, more structure and stability. And then what I like at the top where it hangs are these nice metal grommets. And then back over to here, we have these nice long metal racks that go over the top of the door. There's only so much weight that you can put on a door before I think it'll start stressing the hinges where it's attached to the wall. <clears throat> but this is lightweight, so all the weight will be in the yarn, but it packs up very small. It, ca it came delivered in, in this box here, nice and flat and neat, and as you can see, compare with my hand, you know, it's not all that wide, maybe a couple of inches. So I'm going to put it together, set it up, transfer my yarn, see how much it holds, and I will be back and show you what it looks like hanging and give you a little review on that at the end. So I'm pretty excited. I love to be organized with my stuff. Okay, see you in a bit. Woohoo and yeehaw, I have success and I give this organizer two thumbs up for the price can't be beat holds quite a bit of yarn I used a 20% coupon it came to 18 something before tax I actually needed a couple of other things from Bed Bath & Beyond so I got free shipping too which is always nice so uh, this has again the six pockets three larger three smaller the only thing is I wish that in between the smaller pockets there was just a little bit more space but it's not a deal breaker and I, I can still get to what I, I need and want and I can visually just see everything at a glance and if you notice the pockets taper so they start out wider and then they're a little more narrow at the bottom and this allows uh, them to slant forward a little as you can see from the side view so it really does make it easy access. And in the top, I have four of these flattened, these, these balls. Those are probably three and a half ounces each. And a couple of the um, Lion Brand Comfy Cotton. Those, those are pretty good size cakes there. Um, yeah, those are the only two I have. It's just not my favorite yarn. It is soft, but it splits. And I'm... It's cotton poly. I, I'm just not a big poly fan, and so it's not enough for me to deal with the splitting to repurchase. But I made a cute little purse, and it turned out great. And they double up pretty well, like if you put two together. So. Ounce 
couple five ounce cakes here. The Yarn Bee Sugar Wheel. It's a number three weight. And this and these two here are all the Karen Cotton Cakes. And I've already used a fair amount of this. And, and I use these a lot for the summer hats primarily. And they work up real well for bags. This one in the Hummingbird is what I used for, it's showing up a little brighter here, but that's what I used in that market tote that I made from the Crochet Exclamation Point Spring Magazine that I reviewed some videos back and showed you the tote bag and that. So here's here's the yarn. These are 60% cotton, 40 poly. They do have a bit of a string-like feel, but they are soft as well, but not overly soft because for um, hats if you want, a, for the summer hats, if you want a brim or something not completely floppy and have a little bit of, of body and structure to it, then you, you need a yarn that has a bit of a, a bite to it, if you will. And then this was the, um, the, the baby soft cotton worsted that I purchased at a yarn store that I used for the base on that. But uh, actually... I was just asked in the, the video I did with the cabochons and with that little hat that I wore which yarn I used and I'm going to be going over this soon, bring out my summer hats, show you the different ones and styles and the different types of yarns that I used as well. But I had forgotten all about this one because, you know, I don't know if, if Caron is coming back out with these cotton cakes. They've had them for a couple of years. I think they're fantastic for certain applications. I don't, but they come out with them late in the season. I think it was the end of April when I saw them in our store anyway. And then that's kind of late, in my opinion, you know, getting started, especially if anyone does craft shows or markets or that type of thing. You always need to get a head start on the season. But, um, so I mentioned that the only, I, I put that in the comment section of this la last video, that the only yarn that I found that was comparable to the Caron cotton cakes is a Hobby Lobby yarn bee, their little dollops, L-I-L, the little dollops. And those are little pint size. I, I think they're probably 50 grams. So you would need two of those to equal one of these. This one probably has longer color changes because you get one of each of five colors per cake. Whereas the little dollops, you get the five colors. I think it is five in a, in a smaller cake, so you'll have two of those repeats to equal one of these. I hope that makes sense. But as I was reorganizing my yarn into here, I remembered the Hobby Lobby Baby Bee, their Hushabai Solids, which is, again, it's same number four weight, and this is 50-50, so it's not quite as high of a cotton content. It's 50 cotton, 50 acrylic, but it was, um, I, I think it's pretty comparable in feel. It might be a little softer than this, but I don't think so soft where it's not going to hold the shape. So you could go online to Hobby Lobby if you want, check out their colors, see what they have. So I mean, look, each each of the big pockets holds eight cakes, and then at the bottom I have two five ounce cakes of the uh, they're 492 yards each of the Cascade Heritage Prince. Though mind you, I think this is probably a number two weight. It's um, a merino and nylon. But still, you know, that's, there's my kickboard <laughs> for swimming. And then I have three universal yarn cakes in the front, and I think there's probably room behind these for three more. And those are your standard three and a half ounces, number four weight. So I'm real happy with it. Oh, I wanted to check, show you, okay, those, those plastic pieces um, for the sides, and they, they taper to the shape, so you get six of each side size you know two for each pocket one on each side and then the smaller one same thing <clears throat> go in here and there there is there's a little pocket on the side you see that 
that they just slip right into. And I think it's pretty well thought out. The the base that I showed you at the beginning that, that goes in the bottom, it even has the fabric tab on the end. So it's easy to just remove if you need to. So you can see how the U-shaped hook goes from the back side through and then the bar, which is flat and then down, goes over the top. This little deal, that was here when we moved in and it's super adhered to the back of the door with that very uh, heavy duty sticky double sided tape. And I'm not about to peel that off because it'll probably take the veneer off right with it. I don't, I don't want to wreck that. Um, so it really, it feels very balanced, the weight. It's not any more than what I already had on there. And you can go on to the link if you like, and I'll also put that in the uh, comments section and pin it at the top to make it easier for those who are on their mobile phone, hopefully. But the width of all the pockets, 14 and a half inches. <clears throat> the depth on, and, and it, you know, it does expand a little bit. I, I don't want to put stress on the edge by forcing it in, but it, it's not forced. And you know, the yarn, yarn tends to squish down a little bit anyway. Excuse me, the height is seven inches. The depth goes from five inches down to four and a half. And the height on the smaller pocket is let's see, four inches, four inches in height and four and a half inch depth down to three and a half inches. A pretty fair, good, good amount of space. Now the, the overall height from top to bottom, 50 some inches, it's 52 or 57. I don't recall which, but it wound up being just about the exact same height as the one that I was using. So yeah, there you go. <clears throat> Works for me. Okay. Well, I'm going to show you the, the other one in a sec that I was using. So here we go. Here's the pocket organizer I was using before. It's just really not all, all that super functional. These two plastic pockets are the only ones that have the closed sides, both on the front and the back. Uh, the rest, the sides are open and they're real droopy and my yarn tended to just kind of get all mix, mixed up and it wasn't just neatly laid the way I like it. And then if I pull one at the bottom, then the rest fall. And it's not that big a deal and I've been using it for a while. I had it. I wanted to use what I had and make it work. But when I saw that other piece, I thought, well, instead of paying for shipping on the other items, I'll just put the shipping instead, apply it to something I've been looking at for a while. And um, you know, get, I'll get a little bit more for my money there. <clears throat> so the rest of the pockets are all like this. So I had every one filled and then the top one on the back and a few odds and ends in here. And it, 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 everything fit in the other one quite nicely. So this could probably use to put maybe some shawls or scarves or shoes in. Okay, well that's it for now. It's starting to get really windy and overcast, and I believe some rain's coming in soon. So while there's a little bit of sun, I am going to head outside and work on that crochet project for the rest of the afternoon. All right, take care, everybody. I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>